another YouTube channel. This is a special, special day. We are testing out four different methods with the same exact bait. We're gonna really put these to the test and figure out what these flounder are feeding on, what technique is the absolute best to use during this time of year. This is a flounder run, so we're gonna get out there. Chris, what do we got, man? We got the mantis shrimp and chartreuse today. Boom! White for it, swimming mullet. Four inch pink swimming mullet. Beautiful, so we're gonna fish these three different baits. 30 minute intervals with four completely different rigging tactics to see what is the absolute most productive rig. I'm excited, y'all ready? Ready, ready. Let's ready. get it, ow! Yeah. All right, rig number one, Chris, take us through what we got going on right there. All right, guys, so yeah, we got 30 pound braid going on to 20 pound fluorocarbon. If you're not satisfied with your knot or you're not comfortable with, you can get a barrel swivel you can put on that. We got it going straight into our jig right here where we're gonna tie on a nice gulp be able to get it out, be able to get it down on the bottom, we'll be able to hook up some flounder. Beautiful, standard rig number one, standard jig head on the bottom with fluorocarbon, let's get it. For rig number two, we're using a 20 pound barrel swivel, 30 pound fluorocarbon. You just wanna use just enough fluorocarbon uh, just to connect this chatter weight. Uh, for this right here, you wanna use a double granny knot in order to create this loop to connect your uh, quarter ounce jig head. You want to leave at least 12 inches of uh, fluoro to tie on your one ounce egg sinker. Uh, what that does, it allows the, uh, the bait, the jig right above the flounder's head. It makes them a little bit more aggressive on their bite. Hey y'all, for rigging number three, today we're gonna to be using a drop shot rig. What this drop shot rig is, is a two piece, 40 pound test fluorocarbon. Uh, you the two pieces are tied together uh, with a double granny knot into a your standard fishing knot uh, attached. I do have a two watt kill hook, and on the bottom I have a one ounce pyramid drop shot weight. All right, with it with this hook, put that gulp on there, and when it's sitting in the water, really good for working your bulkheads. So when this sinks down on that bulkhead, this weight will sit right at the bottom of that slope on that bulkhead wall. And when that sits down there, those flounder that are right there on that slope. This gives them that better peripheral view. It allows this to flow a little bit more naturally in the water and it gets those flounder to bite a little bit more aggressively and naturally. What's going on guys? Captain Sharky, rig method number four. This is a standard flounder double tandem rig, highly used in the flounder world. You can use a 30 pound barrel swivel, but I have just tied a uni knot from my main line to my 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. I've got about a 16 inch leader to my first quarter ounce jig head about an eight inch leader to my second quarter ounce jig head. We're gonna put gulp on both of these and essentially jig it across the bottom. And I've got not only one, but two chances to beat these guys. I'm cheating a little bit. We'll keep it on the down low, but it's game time. Rig method number four, let's get it. All right guys, so we're pulling up to the very first spot. It very rarely is open. This is a well-known flounder spot. Flounder loves structure, so there's a bunch of bulkheads. It's right here in this back corner of one of the inlets of the Gallison Ship Channel. Very well known, so it's okay that we're recording it, not top secret or anything, but we're excited that it's open. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a massacre. Let's go. Bait number one is going on the hooks. Nice. Looks all right. Sugar Shane's rigged up. We got our double tandem here. Last but not least, our single. And we're gonna fish this uh, back inlet here. Go ahead and get a cast out there, Chris. Let's see what we're working with. And guys, we launch these, these baits out here as tied up to that structure, as tied up to those bulkheads as we can. We let it sink all the way down and slow jig it all the way back, just bouncing it across the bottom. Beautiful, just like that. Oh, all right, <laughs> Lance is hooked up. 
<laughs> first fish of the, I mean, first cast, literally. And that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a nice one. Oh, man, that's a nice one. Nice fish on the chatterweight. Look at that. All right, Lance with the first fish, nice probably a good 20 inch right there. Oh, Shane hooked up right behind him. Can't make that up. Two to zero on the drop shot rig. Well, he's a, what you got? What you got? Show us, show us, show us what it is. Don't be ashamed. Just got nailed. Got him. Oh. <laughs> Shane really does got a bite. Yeah. There you Hooked go. Up. Nice. There you go. Nice, nice flounder guy. Two on the drop shot rig. <laughs> Saving the ocean. That's one it. One day at a time. That's right. it. Drop shot. Number so we've got two. a drop shot with no weight on the jig and a drop shot with mm -hmm. weight on the rig. That's it. Oh, me and Chris are solo over here with our bottom rigs. Yeah. Woo, hooked up, finally. I say finally, we, we haven't been here long at all. Look at that good fish on the double channel. On the double. That's a beauty, man. Look at it. Somebody get that net. Oh, I got it. I got it. You got it. Flipper. She's a good 20, though. Good fish. Maybe not. Maybe we don't go flipper. She's big. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Very nice. Very, all right. Very nice. On the tandem. So it's two on the drop shot, one on the tandem. It's beautiful fish. Mwah! Oh, nice. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Good fish. That's two for the double tandem. That's it. Ooh, stacking. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Good fish. All yes, right. sir. That's a dude. That's a stud, that's a buddy. Stud. Oh man, drop shots. Drop shot with a jig head seems to be doing the trick. I don't know. I'm two. He's three. Sugar got one. Chris, where are you at, man? Where are you at, man? You getting a backlash out back there or what? No, no, no. <laughs> All right. That's a stud. Is that a second fish? That's a second. Don't take two. Okay, yeah. two for Lance, two for me, one for Shane. Oh, Good yeah. fish. Good fish, buddy. <laughs> Every single fish, 20 plus for Lance, that's for sure. Yeah. That's a good 21 right there, yeah. stud flounder. That thing's huge. That's huge. Big. He might be 22, huh? Yeah, he's big. Good fish. Oh, we're trying to keep up with this guy. Beautiful, beautiful fish. flounder. Dope. Oh! <laughs> oh man! Stud boy, that's a freaking Woo! stud. Ooh, that's a stud right there. It's a monster, baby. Oh, back on up for me just a little bit. Uh, show, show beauty in entirely. That's there we go. A trophy fish. Very Same nice. time on the tandem rig. Mm. All right, guys. So we're at the 30 minute mark. We got five absolute stud flounder in the boat. Caught some other ones. Now it is time to change our baits to lure number two. We've got the white four inch Berkeley Gold Mud Minnow. Whew, what a start, what a start. Beautiful, switching it up. Check out that package right there, beautiful. Sugar Shane's ready. All right, fish number one. <laughs> it's a little guy on the double tandem. This is the white pearl. Four inch mud minnow. I mean, swimming mullet. Dang it, why'd I keep saying that? All right, guys, you can actually see my line swimming through the water here. Got a good thump right on the back side of this log. We're gonna set. There he is. Oh, yeah, good fish. Oh, right. All right, there he is. Nice flounder fish number two for the white swimming mullet four inch. Not a ton of action like the mantis shrimp, but still catching some nice decent fish on it. Look at the abrasions on that one. It's been laying on the bottom, getting all all sorts of cut up. 
All right, guys, kind of slowed down for the bite for us. We've been working that white for about 30 minutes. We're probably gonna transition over to this neon pink. Man, especially in murky water. This time of year, those flounder love something neon chartreuse, as you can see, neon pink. So we're gonna do the switch. We got two flounder on the white, a bunch on the yellow, and gonna transition over to pink right now. If it's a flounder, look at that, look at that. He's actually swimming with it. Oh, oh we're doubled up. Oh, doubled up on doubled the pink. Doubled up. Right there. Oh, I got a stud. Go ahead and get Shane's. Nice fish. Here we go. go. All right. I got one coming up on the pink. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, one on the tandem. Really good one on the drop shot. Captain Sugar Shane there. Once again, he's got no weight. Size two watt kale. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, nice. Couple there nice ones right there on the pink. Yeah, buddy. And we've been fishing the pink for about, man, probably four or five minutes now. Got another 20, 25 minutes to go, and then it's free for all time. But they like those neons. Oh man, they, he, he took it. Good fish, man. All right, guys, whenever you're filling for these flounder, um, the number one key is to fill for the weight at the end of the at the end of the rod. So whenever you fill a thump, you want to make sure that, that 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 rod feels heavy at the end, almost like a plastic bag. So what you want to do, you want to lift up slow. You see how my rod's bending? You want to reel down. I know he's on there. And you want to set the hook hard Boom. like that. Good hook set. Good hook set, Lance. It's a good fish. Good fish. Oh, stud, stud, nice. flounder. Woo, just like that, clockwork. That's a good 20 plus again. Sugar Shane hooked up. Nice fish, beautiful. Boat flip. Yes, sir. Just turned the camera off and smoked this absolute doormat right there. That's every bit of five, five and a half. Man, it's huge fish, probably 23 and a half, 24 inch fish. Beautiful on the double tandem, Berkeley Gulp. Go get some, baby. Pink swim mullet. Pink swimming mullet. Get you some. Hey! We got a lively one. Yeah, he hit it and took off. Another good fish. I think the smallest one we got in our in our little live well there is probably 18, 18 and a half inches. We just boated that toad and Shane's hooked up right behind me. They're turning on on that pink swimming mullet. Oh, there you go, Shane. Hooked up on the drop shot. It's all right, it's snack pack. Snack pack. And we are limited out, guys. Now we're just catching and releasing for fun. I think our smallest fish in there is 18 and a half inches. They are loving that pink. Beautiful fish, Shane. All righty, guys, it is the free for all round. What you got, Lance? I got the uh, Green Hornet Voodoo Shrimp. Beautiful. 3.25 inch. All right. Everybody's changing out to their favorite rigs. Now it's game time. Survival of the fittest. Oh, yeah. Another nice fish. Nice they're hungry today, guys. They are hungry today. Beautiful day That's out it. here. Just like that. What do you got? 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon 30, 30 on there? 30 pound fluoro, about 14 to 15 inches of it. Guys, this is a really easy rig for a uh, beginner too because yep. they come pre-rigged with that jig head. You don't have to worry about putting it on perfect or anything like that. It is rigged up and ready to rock just like that. Got a lot of action. Check that thing. Look at that. Can't say no. That's it. Mm, what was that? Number two on the voodoo? That's number three. Number, number three. three on number the voodoo. Three. Didn't even get the hook set. Uh -huh. On the Green Hornet. On the Green Hornet. Got right whacked right here at the boat. Got him. Oh, yes, sir. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Freestyle one to three. <laughs> Not a big deal. These boats live Beautiful. Do you voodoo? That's the voodoo. <laughs> That's the lucky color, man. Oh, good fish. Good fish, Chris. Beautiful. Look at the wake on that fish. Cajun 
Chris. There he is. That's a stud, too, buddy. Man, that's a good fish. Definitely 22 inches, maybe. Golly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Beautiful fish, Chris. Everybody switched out to the uh, to the voodoo. What color are you throwing? Uh, it's a green hornet. Green hornet. Beautiful. Oh, right there at the boat. Number two for Chris. <laughs> He's flip flapping. All right, guys, it's all about the angles. Look at that 14 pound flounder that Lance just got. We're gonna see you guys back at the dock holding up some monster flounder. Thanks for tuning in. Big day. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. What did we throw today? What was the best bait? Uh, tandem, oh, tandem rig. Tandem That's rig it. on the chartreuse color. Tandem rig and a drop shot rig oh, was yeah, also killer. Yep. We whacked a lot of these fish on the chartreuse and what Pink else? Swimming Pink, Pink swimming mullet. Pink swimming mullet. Yep. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Bad ombre day out on the water with these guys. You already know, subscribe. Ooh. It's monster, monster baby.